Oh, I do like a good big quilt. Look at this. Look at this picture. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Now, it's a big, it's a big quilt. I'll, I'll look up the measurements in a minute, but it's massive, isn't it? Oh, we've got the measurements for you. How many? 80 by 80, 80, by 80 Paul. You were beaten to it. 80 by 80, that. It's love. Oh, gone a bit closer there. Now, it, it looks like it's going to be complicated, but actually it's quite simple, I think. It's just you've got... We're so used to working, aren't we? When we do um, like half square triangles, and we're used to working with little bits like that. Of course, all the bits on this are going to be huge, aren't they? So you do need the book. It is in the book. It's page 143 in the book. Now, uh, this, this, is what it's, this is what it looked like when it's finished. Won't it, Emma? That's what this one looks like uh, when it's finished in the book, right? So look at the book, right? You get a CD-ROM in it, and there are 40 traditional blocks. And then, and then on top of that, there's also ideas of applique. I'll show you, I'll show you, show you, right? So look, it's a bit difficult to, because there's your CD-ROM. Let me do it like this, because then it's easier to bend the pages. Look. Are we coming in, Ben, to look at it? There we go. That's right. Ben's busy talking about other people's love lives. Oh, yeah. Hey, what? Yeah. Look. So these are the blocks, you see. Lobster, cactus flower, eight of hearts, diamonds, four-leaf clove. But look. A sampler. Mosaic. Paul's going to have mosaic floors, apparently, in his new house. Garden maze. Mirror image, aren't they lovely? Paper cut, oak reel. No, ours hasn't got oak reel in. Ours got something else in it, hasn't it? Snowflake, stars. So it's got all these different blocks and sunburst and everything. Nine patch with leaves. You see, there are lots and lots of different things. So you can choose like traditional ones, like the chimney sweep. But then they go five, uh, five a quarter squares. Um, our village green. Oh, now, I don't know if I like that bit. I like it more like that. Do you know, see there, that's the, I don't like that pointy bit there, but it's personal. Anyway, so we're moving on, right? Snowball. Wild goose chase. We've done, oh, we've done that one. Handkerchief. Uh, now, this, this, that's the one. Oak, leaf and flower that's meant to be in the corners of ours, isn't it? That she didn't bother doing on a Christmas day, because <laughs> it's Christmas day. Uh, Junkers Park, oh, that's in there, that's in there. Um, paper cut applique, that's the one we've got. She did bother doing that one. Uh, princess Feather. Uh, anyway, so you've got all the different things, but then if you go right to back, so then look, you've got, oh, there's a bedroom. These are the projects here. So these are the projects at the back here. Drinking party quilt, oh, yeah, hello. Yeah, I, oh, we've got that one. I've got that one. Duck, duck, goose. I think Joy made that one, didn't she? she in, is it tomorrow Joy's in? She's in tomorrow. And then Janice is in this week as well. <clears throat> and then who else have I got this week? Got someone else this week. Oh, and Lucy. Lucy on on Friday, of course. That's it. So Jan, today, Emma. Tomorrow is um, Joy. What's that day there? Friday's Lucy, Saturday is Janice, and Sunday's Charlotte Newland. And then I'm off, for, I'm off then for over a week. Oh no. Anyway, so that's that. Now let me just show you other quilts that we've made from this book. <clears throat> oh, there's that one, there's that one I was just showing you. There's Duck Duck Down, no. What was it called? Anyway, that's one one's from the book. That's not what we're making this hour. And then look at this one, this one's from the book as well. You have to, somebody's um, put labels on them all, right? But they put them on, pin them on the front. So there you go. Look, there are different blocks going on in that one. Aren't they lovely? So you can do, look at the size and they're lovely, bold, aren't they? So now uh, we're not doing that one. I'll show you the picture of the one we're doing again, just so we don't get confused. There it is. Right, now I've got four. So you do need to buy the book. You do need to buy the book if you want this pattern. A lot of you will already have it because we've sold loads and loads and loads of those books. But if you haven't got it, right, now we've got bundles. So which colour are you going for first? 
Liberty, which is the one that one's made out of there. Yeah, I can see Liberty. So what you get is you get nine metres of fabric in here. You get half a metre of the chambray. Then you get four metres of the Liberty and four and a half metres of the, is it cream or ivory that? Ivory that one. And you get two threads, you get two threads. Are they two different coloured threads? Oh, yeah, 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 two different colour threads. Now, I need to tell you, I need to tell you, if you, they've put this in to make the binding, if you're going to, because it's so huge, if you're going to make the binding out of this, you can only make it single layer. You can't do a normal binding because you'd need a metre to do that. But there's enough of this left to do the binding in that if you wanted to. So what I would do is I'd do the binding in that and then use some of this for some of the applique. That's, pers that's my own personal opinion. So you get uh, nine metres of fabric, two threads, 99 pounds and 99 pence. That's your first option. Now the second one is the one that Emma's uh, demonstrating, which is this one. So you get, now again, you get half a metre of the magenta. You get four metres of the bijou and then four and a half metres of your ivory there. Ooh. So again, you need nine metres of fabric, two threads, £75 and 99 pence. That's the one that Emma's going to demonstrate with. £75.99, that one. Now, once the, the allocation from today has gone, I can't do any more of those. It's maxed out. Maxed out, that one. Now... Then I've got this one, which is kind of a ready. I, what do they call? What do they called it? Crimson. So you get half a meter of the darker red. Claret. Four meters of the bijou. And this one's got cream with it. This one, cream with it. Four and a half meters of the cream. Seventy-five nighttime plus your two threads. Plus your two threads. So there's your bundle. And then last but not least, now I'm thinking this one's my favourite. Oh, no! Right, so this one you get four and a half metres of the cream. Uh, water mint bijou, that one, four metres. And that one is chartreuse, half metre. Plus your threads, 75 99 that's your bundle. That's your bundle. Right. Are you ready? No, no, just, just chop it up, like just chopping away. Right, there we go. Oh, you don't have to do that, Ben, you know. Hi, Ben. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Very good. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Did you have a lovely day? Yes, yes, it was really it's nice. It's TARDIS, yes. Look at the yeah, dress. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, yeah. come on. Look. <laughs> I love it. Look at the close up of the dress, please. There you go. Um, because you wear, it's the same pattern nearly all the time, isn't it? but really, yes. really lovely because you had a knitty one, that, yeah. that one that's like big yeah, yeah, knitting, yeah. haven't you? And all different, all different patterns. And then you said, oh, I've got a TARDIS one, and then I had to wear it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. it looks brilliant. Thank you. Thank it's like you. your party dress. Um, no, I made it special for you, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit different. <laughs> oh, you, so when you said you had a TARDIS dress, you hadn't got a TARDIS dress, you got a TARDIS fabric. I had it, TARDIS fabric. And you thought, oh, I've said, I've, I've said I'll wear it now, but <laughs> to make it. Yeah. Uh, do, can you whip them up quite quickly? Yeah, they're so quick, so quick. Oh, yeah, this will look, my daughter will probably inherit this one. Oh, really? Yeah. What, now or yeah. in years to come? No, 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 now. now. Yeah. yeah, it was a bit like that because I went home to my brother's family for, for, for Christmas Eve and... Um, Alex, the daughter, was walking around in a dad's sweatshirt, her <laughs> mum's bobble out, her mum's leggings, her mum's shoes, things like that. And it's like, yeah. oh, well, we won't see those again. Yeah. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Um, it's simple, but effective, it isn't is. it? Yeah. A bit like Paul, he's very simple. <laughs> um, where do you start? Where do we start with it? Where do you start? You start with the, um, the fabric, cutting the fabric. Right. So... You get from your two, your, your background, your cream or your uh, ivory. Yes. In the book, for this quilt, it tells you you have to cut certain lengths. Right. From your fabric. Width, as in? Lengths. So you've got your four metres and your four and a half metres. Yes, yes. From your four metres, uh, sorry, four and a half metres of the background. Yes. You cut one that is 90 inches long. Width of fabric? No. Oh, okay. Length. Which is, yeah, it took me a while to, to work it out as well. So 
it's, so it's 90, 90 inches this way yes and what is it the other way just the whole width of the fabric. oh yeah 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 so it's, yeah, yeah. So okay. it's 90 so it's the width of the fabric here yeah. selvage to selvage and then 90 inches and then 90 so you cut one piece that big out of your four yes. and a half meters yeah well cut i rip but yeah okay and i added a couple inches extra just to be on the same is that because you make a lot of mistakes or is yeah. that because no no <laughs> i came out no. wrong is it's, that in case you make a mistake thing? it is just because <clears throat> um you're going to cut your borders from this width so that's why you cut the width the length sorry first yes 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 oh, of course. oh so those are the bits going across the top and down yeah. the sides right so, and you want your border especially of your gorgeous fabric to be all one continuous yes, length of course, so there's always. no distraction <clears throat> oh i see so you it's how you cut 90 inches of that ready yeah. for your big border around yeah. the outside then it's going to tell you how many inches to cut of the patterned version yes. isn't it yes, got yes, it yes 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 so you cut one that's 90 inches, the other one is 72. Right. And then it says to subcut these. So I've just folded it, as you can see, I've just folded it along the yeah. length. So instead of matching up my selvage edges, which you would normally do to cut across the width, I've lined up all of my selvage edges along one side. Right. So that I'm going to be cutting along the length. So my strips are Oh yes, go along make the sure, yes, because if you get this the wrong way round, you will end up with lots of thin stri uh, lots of strips, strips whereas you want short. long, long yeah, strips, long pieces. Don't you? So I'm just gonna. Now, as, as a quilter, mm -hmm. do you ever tear fabric? Yes. <laughs> I was going to say because in the old days, when you used to go shopping in Berwick Street or whatever mm -hmm. in Soho uh, for fabrics, everything, you'd go to the shops and they would always yes. tear. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously there are some fabrics you can't you can't tear, no. but if it's like a cotton mm -hmm. or something with a definite weave, <coughs> they just they just yeah. rip it off. But I've said that to some quilters, and they've almost fainted on the I spot. Know. I, my, my group <coughs> of quilters, when I do rip, I warn them in advance that I'm going to rip yeah. because they're, they're a little bit aghast when yeah. I do it. Well, I like to because you know it's going to be along the grain. Yes, exactly. Uh, exactly. Because there's nothing worse than getting a length of fabric. Sometimes they get on the, they just get a bit skew with on the bolt yes. where they unfold. Mm. And if you just cut it with a rotary cutter, you could end up trying to line it up and you're an inch off or so. Exactly. We used to, when I was at college, we had to, underneath the teacher's desk, there was mm -hmm. a huge roll of calico that we used to have to just go and slice yes. off. Yep. And one day I wasn't, I was so busy chatting to Fiona and I cut like that and I was ripping, ripping. I was like, God, this is really wide. Oh. This fabric. And I was going up the length of the fabric, just unraveling it. <laughs> Going up the white width, that up the actual length of fabric. Right, mm? so I'm just lining it up against my mat. It's on a roll because it gives the teacher was at a big table like this, Paul, and then it was up on a dais on a, on a stage, so you could walk up to the front and pull the, the calico out and cut it off like that. <coughs> right, so, so from your, this is from your 90 inch piece, is it? Yes. Yeah. So the first thing you do is you cut two five and a half centimeter, sorry, five and a half inch. Yes. Get my units right. Yes. Um, strips. So you get rid of your selvage first. Yes. Oh. It's there's a lot. Of you've got you've got a different uh, I do. rotary cutter today. Yes, it's the same one, only bigger. It's the same Make. type. Yes. But the other one is another one green. It is okay. my little. But I've been having trouble with the the um, blades in that. Oh no. Although I think I did change it. Okay. But I wanted to make sure that I could do all these layers. Most, don't worry. So is that a 60 millimetre you've got there? Or is that a 45? You don't know. <laughs> I tried to ask um, Laura and Chris. And yeah, that's a 60 millimetre okay. one. Yeah, because that one's good for going through, because you're going through quite a few Lot. layers, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. It is. It's a little more than you would normally do for going across the width of fabric. Yeah. So just take your time, and because it can be easy to... Yes. So you've taken the selvage off, and now you're off. cutting strips of Five how many inches? Five and a half inches. And I'm actually going to use my mat. Oh, OK. I was going to say, you're just guessing. <laughs> no. <laughs> so when I cut, I either go along the measurements of the mat or of the ruler, not both. Yes. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. And that's just because even if they're the same brand, sometimes the measurements can be slightly different. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, yes. So if, if you mix your mat and your, your blocks, one, two, three, four, five and a half. But you also, um, it's the same with tape measures. Tape measures sometimes oh, okay. aren't, haven't got the same, plastic tape measures don't have the same, okay. exactly the same on. Yeah. So if you use two different ones for your measuring, it's... Oh, good to know. I feel that one didn't go all the way through. There it did. There we go. Nice. Three, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Yes, because what Lucy does is she doesn't use a mat. Mm -hmm. She will have cut her selvage off and then turned it this way round and measured the five and a half inches oh, into yes. the ruler and then it would... Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so those are my strips for that. And then the next bit is 22 inch squares. From the same, so you've cut, so they are your strips now for your border. Yep, for the long side. So this is still from the 90 inch piece. Yes. And you're going to cut what? 22, a 22 inch strip from which I'm going to cut 22 inch squares. Squares, okay. Oh, so you're going to cut 22 inches across now? Yes. So now, uh, did you say when you came and say you were sewing yesterday? Yeah. On your Christmas day? Yeah, so this quilt, I actually started cutting it Sunday night. And was that because you were just drunk before then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yes, you obviously was. <laughs> no. Just um, busy? Just busy, yeah. I, yeah. What was I doing? Oh. No, because you are in here on oh, Sunday. Oh, I was here Sunday, Sunday yeah. Sunday, yeah, yeah, morning. yeah. That's right. So Saturday I was still sewing probably for, for Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> And, and then, then you did the show here on Sunday and then yeah. got home and started this for... Yes, <gasps> today. And also, yeah. have you had, have you had... I'm going off kilter completely. Yeah, a family come to you, for, the daughter yes. and granddaughter come to you for Christmas. Yep, so we had... She's a grandma, it. by the way. Yeah, yeah. She said, grandma, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and they come to you for Christmas. They did this year, yeah, we alternate. So last year they were with my uh, daughter's partner's family. Daughter's yeah, 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 yeah. And then this year they were with us. Oh, OK. And the next year again we'll alternate. And we alternate Well, no, hang days, on, so. that means you never go to theirs. So she gets away with cooking every time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's now, okay. No, but we like having Christmas. My husband likes having Christmas. He doesn't like to go any work for Christmas. No, so no, I don't, that's, I don't, yeah, yeah, I that's don't blame the rule. him, yeah. It's two inches. Um, and uh, do you have a traditional Christmas or are you alternative? No, we have fairly... We do have our own little traditions. Yeah, oh yeah, you'd have to tell us about those. You don't oh, okay. Talk about. No, 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 you no, can no, do. no, it's fine. It's mostly Christmas Eve traditions. Oh, okay. So Christmas Eve night, I started this probably only about two or three years ago. Yeah. We always have cheese and biscuits and wine Christmas Eve night. Oh, do you? Because I have to do all the cooking for Christmas. Yes. So I'm like, no, I'm not cooking. I'm not going to cook for that. Yeah. Oh. So we do that. And then we also, this one we started quite a while ago. Every Christmas Eve night, we watch Charlie Brown's Christmas. Oh, do you? Yeah. My, bro only... my brother does that with Love Actually. He and his oh, family all okay. sit and watch, watch Love that. Actually yeah. on Christmas Eve. But we changed, because when we were little, my mum and dad always had Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve night time. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm just putting oh, up the okay. counting. Um, so he's, he's decided to go back to that this year and it works so much better oh. because all the stress of the Christmas dinner is done then yeah. by Christmas Eve night time and then you've just got Christmas day to yeah. really chill around. <laughs> so it's not, Julie's not running around trying to cook and, and you know, all that yeah. sort of stuff. Well, I have to admit, I, I don't mind cooking on Christmas, but then it's the one day of the year that the Prosecco starts flowing quite early. Oh, yes, cool. <laughs> and that helps to relieve a lot of yes. the stress of cooking. And you do turkey. Do you have a yes. traditional turkey? Yes, Because... Yeah. It, you grew up, not grew up, but you were in a, France a lot of the, the life mm -hmm. and America. So yes. that's because Thanksgiving's the big one in America, it not, is. not, not um, it Christmas. It is not Christmas. It? Yeah. Yeah, and actually, we used to always come home for Christmas when I lived in France. Home to England? Yeah, so for one, one year, I think we didn't make it. But other than that, we always. Oh, so okay. I've always had. But then in America, America, did you go to Macy's Day's Parade? Was that on Christmas Day or is that New Year's that's, Day? That's Thanksgiving. Oh, is it? There's, but there's, isn't there also a big Christmas parade as well? Possibly. Oh, I don't know. I, uh, I only lived, when I lived in New York, yeah, it yeah, used yeah. to be something in it. Anyway, right. let's get on with the quilt. <laughs> so, I've cut my width. Now, these so, this was 22 and a half inches. 22 inches. 22 inches. Yeah. And now you're going to cut 22 inch squares. squares. Yeah, I'm okay. just going to do um, a couple. Right. But you would need, these are for the centre. Yeah. And then the four in the corner. Oh, so those haven't got seams in them. They're just big squares. Just big squares. Oh, well, it comes together quite quickly then. I it imagine. does, it does. Yeah. Just as well if you only had Christmas Day to do it. <laughs> so how much Prosecco had you had then when you started putting this together? <laughs> well, I did the binding yesterday. I, I put it, I sewed it all together on Christmas Eve. Right. But you've had Prosecco and that day as well. No. With, oh, you're cheesing your wine and you, no? No, that was, yeah, that was an evening. That was after the quilt was done. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was after the quilt. And actually after the quilting. Oh, yes. Yeah. So what would you normally do on Boxing Day? What would you, if you weren't here, what would you be doing today? Is it not a... Not a, not a very, no. Um, leftovers? Yeah, like cold leftovers? cuts, it's called. Not leftovers, cold yes. cuts. <laughs> and pickled onions, that's yes. what I remember. I didn't get my... Normally, there's a man in our village mm -hmm. who does pickled onions and pickled shallots, and normally oh. there's a big jar of each waiting for oh, them. Oh, nice. Didn't get one this year. Um, my nanny used to do pickled, pickled shallots. Oh, yeah, my dad. We used to do them in September, though. Oh, yeah. And he used to do pickled lily and green tomato oh, yeah, chutney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay. Is that right? Yep, that is right. I'm never entirely sure, so I always count, yes. measure and count. Oh yeah, because once you've cut, that's it. Yeah, exactly. especially these big pieces. Cause oh yeah, yeah, because if you if you did that 21 by accident, that's it, you're done for. Cause it's... Well, oh. actually, yeah. Don't that know. would be the end of the world for this particular one. Yeah, but on normally. Normally, yes. Yeah. But we'll get to that. Yeah, but we'll get to the mistakes. <laughs> yeah, thankfully it worked out. Okay, so that's right. my... So you, you cut one, two, three, four, five of five. those in yeah, total. Yeah, so you cut you? another set from this strip. Yeah. And then you subcut um, another one from your shorter length. Okay. And then also two five and a half inch strips of the length. What are they for then? Um, the shorter border. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So you've cut the long ones, and yeah. then you're cutting from the other one. You're cutting yeah. the short ones. Got it. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> How are we doing on time? Uh, we're twenty. Only twenty minutes in. Oh, okay. So we've got plenty. Um, could you, if you wanted to, mm -hmm. do it the other way round? So it's white instead of. Because there's a reason why we've given you four and a half of one and four of the other, though, isn't there? So maybe there you is. couldn't. I was just thinking, because if the background was your pattern and your yeah. star was your white. white, and then in the middle there, your white would be the applique on top of the mm -hmm. yeah, colour, white. wouldn't it? Yeah, it Maybe, would. I don't know, I don't know. You could. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to get your outer border, maybe not as wide. Oh, right, yeah, because you, you're half a metre missing. Yeah, you, so but... you, you could definitely do it. You just have to work out your... How yes. much you've yeah, got exactly, exactly. first hand. Okay, so we've done our, we've done our four <coughs> strips of border and we've done our five 22-inch squares. Yes. Okay. So we'll, we'll put that aside for now. Okay. You do get quite a bit of the length left over, actually. So okay. So even after I've cut another two inch, another two squares from this first bit, you do get yes. a nice amount. And then, I love this, you only need two strips and one 22-inch square from your pattern. Oh, yes, of course, yes. And even after you cut the, um, your lengths of your patterned one, you still get about half a metre or half a yard, I'd say, yes. or half a metre <clears throat> um, left over of the patterned. Oh, so, that's good. Yeah, so I'm going to put that aside for now. Okay. Uh, the book's very, very popular. <laughs> the thing is about this book is lots of people have said when they bought it in the past, even though the book is called Red and White Quilting, well, we haven't done ours red and white, but you know what I mean? It's kind of, a, you've got all the block patterns, so yes. you can do them whatever colour well, you want to do, really. Definitely. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's actually what I liked about the kits, is that the red and white is very traditional, but then you can just a little bit of a twist. Just oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I really, really like yeah. that. Yeah, and that's what I've got left from my first Oh, length. crikey, so it's quite a bit of a you stash. Do. But mm -hmm. you, need, you need, it's not like we could have reduced the no, amount of fabric you need in the, the bundle. Yeah. yeah, but on the bits that are left over, you could definitely do a cushion to go with it or yeah. something else. Now, of your patterned lengths, you need one length... 72 and 162. Oh, so big pieces again. Yes. Oh, because this is this is a the border smaller because it's inside. It's not as big as the white, the white one. one. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one you're doing square. Are you cutting squares of the? Because there's no solid squares of the pattern one, is there? Not in the finished. Not in the finished, no. but we will. Yeah. So let me um, cut that. Let's see, I've, this one we need the five and then, yeah, 21 and a quarter. So we'll just use one length. Okay, so what are you, you're cutting out the border and the, the squares now? Yes. Right, while you do that, I'll go and recap. Okay. Because you're just, re, you're just re, repeating it what do, you did. Exactly. You? So yeah. you cut your strips and your square. I'll do and do that. Then when we come back, we can show how to Perfect. what to do next. Okay. I'll take the book. Here we go. Book, very, very popular, Paul's telling me. I'll just put that there. It is lovely because uh, you get your CD-ROM in the back, first of all, but then all of these different uh, blocks are all in the book. All, so I mean, uh, where's that picture with the sampler? Because it looked lovely. Look, so if you made one of each of the blocks, you could create your own like sampler quilt like that. Or, of course, you could put them all together like the garden maze, like that, to create a whole... Brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Now, some of them are appliqued. Some of them are um, patched. Now we did um, we did a basket, didn't we? With uh, was it with Lucy the other day? Anyway, isn't it lovely? So you get all the different blocks. So you see that the hourglass. That's what we're going to be doing later. But then the chimney sweep, traditional block there. Don't it, it looks like a button, like a sewn-on button there, doesn't it? Anyway, so you get all of your different blocks. 
and all your different plique templates and everything, plus actual quilt patterns as well. But as, as I say, you see, that's done in red and white. You could do that in whatever. You could do that in black and white. You do the outside in black and white, or the background in black and white, couldn't you? And then you could do the, the, the discs in different colours. There's Duck Duck Goose. So it's got full of inspiration and ideas and everything like that. So that's £19.95, and a really good little buy, that one. Got four bundles, four bundles. Let me start with the Liberty one, which is on the wall. Liberty one is, it's really funny, isn't it? Because it, it, this is where it works out. The one that's on the wall behind us, always usually the most popular one. Four and a half metres of ivory. Four metres of the Liberty. Mm? Half a metre of the Chambray. Two threads. £99.99. And 99 pence. That's Liberty, that one. That's the Liberty one. Members, only one PMP for, even if you've been in already and got the um, early bird special. And then, and then you come in to get these. It's still one P and P, remember. So this one, you get four and a half meters of the ivory, four meters of bijou in heather, and then a half meter of the magenta. Now remember, if you're going to bind it in this one, you can only do a single layer of binding. You can't do your double layer of binding because there's only half of each of that one. But there's loads of this one left if you want to bind it in that one and maybe use this one as part of your applique design. Plus, you get your two threads, £75.99. Oh, I'll do the red one first. That's right, because it's nearest. Uh, it's not called red. It's called uh, crimson. So you get half a metre of claret. Four metres of your, claret, uh, of your um, crimson bijou. And then four and a half metres of your cream solid. They're lovely, aren't they? And you get your two threads. There you go. There's the graphics. £75.99. Then the last one, uh, which I love. I love this green. So you get four and a half metres of the cream. Four metres of the uh, mint, I think it's called mint, isn't it? Water mint, water mint, water mint. And then half a metre of your... Um, oh, now, what's this? I've got it, hang on, I've got it in the back of my head. It's called... Chateraise, that's right. And then you've got your two threads there. £75.99. pence. Oh, lots of you got that one in your basket. Make sure you check out. Don't want you to miss out. Don't want you to miss out. Yeah, I've got Bondweb over there because we'll do it when we get to using it, yeah. Yeah. Right. So. So it's done exactly the same as we did before. So that's a 22-inch <coughs> square, yeah. It's a 21 and, and a quarter square. Oh, okay. So that's the only difference. Yeah. I'm just going to... You have to be careful because the table's got a bit of a thingy in it here. Oh, yeah. Well, one's got one sunk. I need to cut this in a diagonal. Right. My ruler well, it's a long ruler. It is, but it's not quite long No, enough. no, no. As in, do you want a longer ruler? Oh, yes. Well, if, you, if there is one. If not, because you it's might It's 24 not. the longest we do. Oh, sorry, it's the longest we do. Sorry. Oh, Actually. now. Have you got a tip? Have you got a tip? I do. So you, most of your rulers have a 45 degree <coughs> yes. angle line on them. And my mat also has one so you can yes. help that so I've, I've just lined it up so that my corner to corner corner to corner so that my diagonal is sitting directly underneath the diagonal yeah of my so you line up your 45 um, degree line on your mat line it up with the corner of your you see okay and then hopefully if it works well you can just right before you cut it yes would, does that line not to be lined up with anything? I might be talking out of... Because no, yeah, yeah, I right. think that might need to go flush along there. And that one needs to go... F one, one, you see, this is why we say don't use, <coughs> use one or the other, isn't yes. it? Because the ruler is saying that this one lines in the right place, but that line's in the wrong place. But the ruler's saying that line's in the right place, and so not yeah. that one. So, which, so you're going to line... I'm going to let you do it your way and line your 45-degree line up with that, that one. It could also be my square, isn't it? <coughs> square as well. Um, would it? Could you not fold the fabric? You could. 
actually. I'm only thinking out, out loud. No, 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 now, you know. could, because that's something I do when I have to mark the next bit. Yes. Is what you could do is fold it in half, line them up, press it. Yes. And then just use your scissors. Or your ruler. I mean, you yeah. can line it up with a ruler as well. Yeah, my square isn't quite square. I've still got an old message up. Oh, Son. Son, your message hasn't come through, my love, but get better soon. She says, morning, John, Emma and crew. Merry Christmas to everybody. Oh, she missed us because she'd been in hospital. But she's back home now. Oh, is that our son? Oh. No. Oh, son, take care. Oh, there you go. That was perfect. Yeah. So I just folded it in half and finger pressed it and it made enough of a line that yeah. I could... Oh. Need to shout get a new I blade know, for that one as well. Maybe you're doing too much cutting. Didn't use it to do your Christmas wrapping, did you? <laughs> cut the no, turkey. No, with no, 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 no. No, they, they're all Do you working. have a proper turkey or do you get a crown? I don't eat meat, uh, so I don't yeah, know what I'm talking I about. I actually did a bit of both. So our butcher um, will cut the turkey up for you in a crown. Oh, that's good. And our family is all about the gravy. Oh, is it? Yes. Do you use it, the giblets? Giblets, everything. So all the bits everything. that come off, the legs yeah. and everything, I actually boiled up with some carrots and onions on okay. Christmas Eve. Right, yeah, no, no, because no, in the olden days, when you bought a chicken, yeah, you giblets. used to get a bag of giblets. Yeah, and the yeah, cats, yeah. when I was little, had the giblets as their food. You mm -hmm. boil them up yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the cats stuffed them. Like, anyway. Yeah, I always use them for gravy. Yes, no, yeah. no, no, that's what my mum and dad used yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so you, you cut your triangles. Yeah, and these are going to be your triangles for here. Right. So you'll have another square that you'll cut, so you'll have eight triangles all together. Right. If that's those, we can put aside. Right. So there's lots of cutting and putting to one side on this, isn't there? There is. Yeah. But because they're so big, I, like you said, they're such big pieces, it does go together quite yeah, quickly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Now, for your applique, I actually will need the, the, um, the iron and the pressing mat for this. Yeah, I've got it ready. Perfect. So yeah, this sorry, is your I get it. 22 inch square, which the applique, the background for the applique blocks is... Say that again. 22 inch square. Yeah. And this is what you use for your applique blocks. So for, for the middle? For the middle and then in the book... It, oh yeah, you have if a, you finished it, I'll go yeah. get the book so we can show <laughs> what it's meant to look like. The one's in the corner as well. Yeah. <coughs> Whoops. <laughs> and what, 43 was it? <gasps> Yes. There. So <laughs> this is this is what the finish. If you were the thing is though, we're going to talk about this. I mean, you can put whatever you want yes, in these spaces, actually, can't you? On the next page, there are some examples of different ways you can use the same pattern. Oh yeah. So you've got them all the same, where you've got all the applique cut. Yep. So so this is at the moment. This is this middle bit here, isn't it? This yes. piece of fabric you've got on here. So is that the right size then for that bit there? No. You you will cut it down. I'll show you. Okay. So you do the applique first and then you trim it down. To okay, line. I'll shut up. <coughs> first thing you do is mark it. Now in the book it tells you to mark your lines, top, bottom, diagonal. But right. I found it was a lot easier if you just press it. What how do they suggest marking it then? With a pencil? Yes. Hmm. Or you could use your friction pen. Whoop. Oh, I'm not, not doing very well today. Mm -hmm. I'm just so I'm just, mark, just pressing it just to mark the lines so that I li can line up my pieces. Yeah. So I'm just going to press. It didn't feel very hot. Is it hot enough? It didn't feel very hot. Oh, no, it's not on. No. Uh, there's Paul saying, don't touch it, don't touch it. Um, I think we haven't got any electricity. No, we haven't got any electricity. Yeah, no, it's no, there's not on, there's no... no. All right, so well, hang on then, hang on then. Okay. Right, like, don't worry, no panic, don't panic, don't panic. Uh, good morning to you both. Happy Boxing Day. Just got myself the red book, book so I'm very happy. Lots of love. Wet yourself, oh. Wendy. Right, you move the cutting board. Okay. Yes, I got told off for that once. What, putting the ironing board cover on there? Hang on, we're getting a bit candied here. I'll <laughs> take that. There we go. Plug in this side here. There you go. I right, just have to let it warm up. You can bring that into the middle. There we go. Oh, yeah, right. actually, we don't need the cutting board anymore, so... Oh, there you go. So Perfect. I wonder why we've lost electricity on this side of the table, then. Oh, that could be because it's been unplugged from the floor. <laughs> Who moved the table this morning? <laughs> ben, would that be you? 
It's right, Paul, it's just unplugged on the floor there. Because they moved the table. Back in my day. Why would it have been unplugged? Okay, well, anyway, we're done, we're sorted now. We're done, yep. Yeah. What was Paul saying then? I have no idea. No, nobody knows what he's saying most of the time. <laughs> right, so I've got a line pressed in the middle. Yeah. I'll do the other side, so I'm going to be a, have it across. <clears throat> so you're going to do north, south, east, west. Are you also going to do diagonals as yes. well? Because the middle percent, it actually looks like applique, um, Hawaiian applique, but it's... What's Hawaiian applique? So Hawaiian applique is where... <clears throat> You would have a design. You know how you make snowflakes when you... you yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, paper. yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. So you do the same. So you do the same with your fabric. So you'd fold it up into quarters or into eighths. So like that, and then you can do and it like that. And then cut it. Yeah, write your design, cut it, and then open it out. But it's not like that. It's not like that. It's oh. much simpler. <laughs> <laughs> it's much simpler. It just oh, gives you that look. It. Yes. No, no, it does look like... So it's <laughs> not, that's not all one piece then in the no. middle? No, no. Oh, OK. That's, yeah. Right. So you've done your north, south, east, west. Now you've got to do your north, north, south, 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 all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be careful in the middle not to take out. Yes, the other lines. And actually, this would work quite well for the folded star as well, because you have to mark the lines yes, on that. Yes, yes, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Which one? The green one? Oh, the Liberty one. Lots of Liberty ones in the basket. It's very pretty. Say that again. Right, so we've got all our got points. Got all of our points on there. Yeah. <coughs> How are yeah. we doing for time? Oh, 37, we're all right. Oh, okay, good. Oh, you've done, now you've used the solid colour, like I, I said. I did. Oh, brilliant. Yes, because I really like that, that contrast. Magenta, yeah. Yes, so you... On your CD, you get the... Um, That's just the CD, isn't it, that one? <laughs> <laughs> um, you get so, the on, so on the CD-ROM, it's got all the pattern pieces for yes. these, the templates for Yes, these. which I've, I've printed out. So I've got a couple of sheets here that I've printed out just oh, okay. for... And, 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 and it's actual size. Oh, actual size. That's brilliant, yep. right. Yep. So you just need to trace that onto your Wonder Web. Wonder Web. Five metres on a roll. That's the one you want. Yes. <clears throat> And it will, the pattern will tell you how many of each shape you need as well. Five metres, 29, 22.99. So, so it tells you, oh, I see, because when you print it up, there'll just be the one. Just the one, But yes. then you need to trace it onto your bonder web. Yes, yes. and it'll tell you how many, how many of, each of each to do. Yes, basically. Okay. This isn't fussy cutting, no. No, ben. no, no. Ben's trying to learn all the new techniques. Oh. Fussy cutting was when you just, if there was a pattern on there, this is just... Yeah, this is just okay. uh, this is just a solid colour, I see. This is just cutting out, Ben. So so now now are you cutting round all of your pieces now so they're all this the correct shape? Yes. <clears throat> so now this is the this is the fabric that you get half a metre of, which I'd said originally Adele's obviously thought uh, they'd use that for the binding, but if you use it for the binding, there's only Half a metre is not really enough for the binding because it's such a big quilt. It is. So I said, why not mix and match it with your applique? Because you've got lots of your pattern fabric left to do your binding with. Uh, Catherine in air showing, morning, John and Emma. Happy Boxing Day. Happy Boxing Day to you, my love. Having a chill morning watching Sun Quarter. Going to see Mary Poppins this afternoon. Ooh. Oh, now my friend Sandy, you know Sandy that I used to work with? She um, designed the costumes for that. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, she's got so many Oscars now. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Oh, apparently it's brilliant. Somebody put on Facebook yesterday they didn't like the songs. Oh. But um, the, th the thing that shocked me is how much like Julie Andrews that Emily oh. Blunt sounds. Okay. I haven't seen the film, I've only seen I'm clips seen and everything, but she sounds exactly yes. wow. like Julie Andrews. Yeah. Paul's a little bit behind the times. He's just gone to see Greatest Showman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think the kids are going to go see a Spider-Man film. Oh, is there a Spider-Man film? Yeah. I, yeah, I'll be babysitting. Hang on, I thought you only had one grandchild. Oh, you I mean do. your kids are going to see it? Yeah, well, my daughter, I call them kids. Yes. My daughter and her partner and my husband's taking them. Okay, so, yeah. while you're working. 
Yeah. Putting well, food on the table I and know. they're all, yeah, exactly. Anyway. Oh, yeah, one thing I want to say about the bundle web. So to make it quick and easy, I actually just um, traced the shapes onto the bundle web. Yes. And then I ironed the bundle web onto the fabric as a whole piece and then cut it around. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you can cut the bundle web and then do oh, it. Oh, no. Then it's, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you're limited on fabric, which you wouldn't be in with these kits, then you can do that and make, get a lot more out of your fabric. Yes, so yeah. and being, even being quite extravagant, you get a lot. So obviously you'd normally have four of these, so you'd have eight all together. Yes. I'm going to get my pin. <coughs> 13 minutes we've got left on oh, your table. Oh, okay. That's right. Um, what I did actually to centre this, because the centering is the most important part. Yes. Oh, yeah, because if that was off, it would be yes. obvious, wouldn't it? So I did the same trick of folding it yeah. so I can get my centerpiece. Leave that on like that. Yes, you see, I think it's nice mixing. I like, I mean, it's mm -hmm. nice like that. And if you were just doing solid red and white, then I can understand why they've done it. But when you've got a third colour, I think it's quite nice to chuck in a third colour. Yes, I like the, and I, the combinations are so nice. Yes. Just going to my star. Just going to put a pin in. Right. Then I can pin them both. So actually, you can do this bit. Right. You can bond web this piece on first. Oh, yeah. oh yes. So you just keep it. You've been given a lot of, because you've got lots of Bond Web in your next project it as is, well, haven't yes. you? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. I love Bond Web anyway. Well, it was the very first thing I ever did at Wimbledon School of Art, so I've got Aye. a plique, so I've got a kind of soft spot for plique. But I also do satin stitch, and everyone at here, nobody ever does satin stitch. And I'm like, you're not doing satin stitch. Okay. That's my centre, and then you just arrange. Oh, I've got it behind. This one? Yes, so you then you'd arrange. You took these in by about an eighth of an inch and Oh, literally just yeah. a smidge. And then you use your lines to line up. And if you really want to be fussy, you can oh, yes. obviously fold these in half. Again, to get your centre there. You've got your centre on the point. Yeah. So you want to line that up like that. That's a funny looking shape, that one, isn't it? Yeah. Now, now I can see it on the flat. Mm-hmm. So this one goes on the diagonal. Finish this one. Oh, now this is a completely different shape. Oh, these are caught. These are corners. corners. Yes, this is just the centre. Right. So I'll I'll be quiet because these are these aren't put centre yet. Oh no. So in that side, you've just got those two different shapes, haven't you? Going round. Yes. And you just arrange it so they. Do they overlap? Oh no. They shouldn't. They shouldn't overlap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they shouldn't, but they, they are. They shouldn't. <laughs> I think my centre isn't quite off. Oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. That's, better. That's it. There we go. They do get quite close, but they shouldn't overlap. Yes, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you'll have that all the way around the of edge. Of course. Now, these corners, it's important. It tells you four centimetres in, you have to do the bottom. So why and do they make inches. the square too big for you then to put the applique on to then cut down? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, because I would rather start with the block the size I need it. Yes, then yes, know. because so I'd be terrified that if you haven't read, if you haven't read it, mm -hmm. you'd be like, oh, these go in the corner, just yep. leave my quarter inch. Oh no, look at my shirt now, it's really bad now. Oh dear. Oh um, dear. I wouldn't leave the quarter, I'd only leave quarter inch, but actually you need to set those quite a way in, don't you? Do. You do. It's four centimetres, so just over an inch. I will. Yeah, one and five eighths inches or four centimetres in from the corner. Oh, now Brenda says, can you use Bonder Web when to stick fabric when upholstering? Oh. I, I, no, I, well, I, it depends. You've got to sew, you, you've got to sew it, Brenda. You can't just Bonder Web anything. It has to be sewed. Bonder Web's not a, a permanent, permanent fixative. So I don't really know. Uh, do you mean if you're going to applique upholstery? or w Let me know which bit of upholstery you mean, Brenda, and then if we can help, we will do. No, Paul. Upholstery means covering a piece of furniture. Yes. No. Paul's saying, oh, maybe, maybe. Paul says, what, 
just get the cushion and ironing it on top of the old fabric. You wouldn't do that for your upholstering. <laughs> you take the old fabric off, don't yeah. you, when you upholster. And we'll see. We'll see for Brenda Minute when Brenda messages in. Right, so how many centimetres in are you? Inches four. or centimetres? So it's four centimetres. Yeah. It's one and five-eighths inch in. Right, from, from the, the corner. corner. Yeah, so the, your bottom piece How your... weird that they're then, you're then going to trim uh, it down. Yes. So the, the way I found out, because I... Did it wrong. Did it wrong. Well, yes. I um, didn't trim it down, so I left it the size big, um, sinking. Because you didn't read the instructions I properly. didn't read the instructions properly, and I just assumed that... Right. They would have you cut it the yeah. size that you need. So I started sewing this piece onto this piece. So this applique is onto one of your triangles. Yes. It's separate. And I got to about here, and I'm like, oh, but my centre block is it's much too bigger. Long. And so it's only the centre block that you have to tri trim down. The centre block, and then these ones. Oh, you have to trim them all down. Yes, they'll all need to be. Uh, by how much? I know why. It's because those have got seam allowance. Because when you've sewn those together, those are smaller squares. Yeah, but Be you cut them smaller anyway because it's like 21 oh, and a yes. quarter. And that's 22. So. Oh, I don't know then. Yeah, unless... What, if you wanted to, could you cut this piece yeah. smaller to start with? Because the other thing is, is, once you've got all your applique on... You want it to be... Yeah. Yeah, but then you're going to have to start slicing it again. Yes. Like... That's what I had to do. And that? I, yes. So it's only a I tiny bit you take off. It's about three quarters of an inch all the way all around. All the way around, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But if you're not careful, if you don't pay attention, which I thankfully I did read that part of the instructions. Yes. When I trimmed it down, I didn't lose any of my applique shapes in the yes, corner yes, because, because they were set in enough. Yes. How weird. Yes. Anyway. So. But yeah, but I, if I was doing it again, I probably would cut these. Trim this down first. To the, yeah. Yes, to the correct size. It's probably just to leave you a little bit of leeway, wiggle room, in case you do it wrong. Or it's not quite square. Yeah. There. I'm going to start pressing these down. Actually, I'll do these ones in the corner. Then what? Got, I'll do the ones in the corner. So okay. I'll, I'll press this in and then sew on it. Right, okay. So I don't have my centre one completely finished. Yeah. So, and with the stitching around the edge, I actually did a mixture. Oh, here we go, Evelyn, or Evelyn. John, if the mark persists, use a black, if it is a black shirt. Of course, it's black, it's solid black. Mm -hmm. Permanent marker, just try it first in an obscure place. Love from Evelyn. Oh, I like your last name. It's actually, that's her last name. I won't read it out, Evelyn. Oh. Very nice, that's her last sweet. name. What? Well, I'll, I'll wash it tonight and see what happens. I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, you know imagine. what else would be good for this part? Pardon? You know what else would be good? You Something you've forgotten to ask? No, no. I just, with this part, the um, Teflon. The oh, sheet. yes, the Teflon sheet. Yeah, the Teflon sheet. I could have used it at home, actually, because I when I pressed my bondo web onto my fabric. Some of the bondo web was over the edge. So now I have to wash my ironing board cover. That would right. have that. Brenda's back. She said, sorry, sorry. I mean, when repairing a worn out patch on a couch, oh. would you better fix your material to the bond web, then glue the patch onto the couch? Yes, but it won't stay. No. You have to stitch it. You yeah. do yes. have to stitch bond web because it doesn't stay. It's only a, uh, it's a good temporary holder, but it's not a, Permanent. if you put, if you've, so if you imagine if you've, in the old days, right, when my mum and dad used to smoke like this, and I just, they had a thing <laughs> that went over the, the arm of the chair. And if they burnt the chair, they could then put a piece of that on, but then you then have to stitch around it. Yeah, yeah, which is what I'm going to do right yeah. now. Okay. Then. So it's, what I love about the bond web is it, obviously it keeps it in place. Oh, yes, oh yes, 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 yeah. That's really nice. Uh, it keeps it nice and flat. Now, do you... I'll take that for you if you want. Okay. Thank you. Um, do you put any stabiliser, when you're doing a plique, mm -hmm. do you put any stabiliser on the back of here? I don't, but because this is bonder web, it kind of already is. Yeah, no, there. no, you see, I yeah. don't either. Yeah. But we've had a couple of our experts in who would then also put oh, okay. a very fine... Uh, Bond, uh, not bond web, um, like a, an interfacing on the back okay. or, or a stabiliser on the back. I've okay. never done, I've never seen that before. And I was no. like, what are you doing that for? Yeah. Okay, so what I would think, you do next then? Yeah. The next bit is the stitching part. I yeah. think for that, it depends on the wear, what the wear, what the 
item is that you're using. So if it's a quilt that is going to get a lot of wear and washing, like a baby quilt or something, yeah. or a baby play mat, then that might be a good idea just to increase... Oh, so you agree with them now? Well, I'm just saying there's no right or wrong no, way. No, 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 I'm not saying there's a right or wrong Only the way that works. That's for you? For you. What stitch are you using? Um, what stitch did you use? I use a, mi a mixture. So <laughs> I've got a blanket stitch, I've got a zigzag, and I've got a straight stitch on, on the middle. Oh, and I did snowflakes around. What, a decorative stitch? Yes. Blimey, I thought you were short of time. <laughs> I was, but it went really quick. No, no one I did. Christmas the dinner wasn't ready. <laughs> it was, it was. Everybody was happy. So you, this is one of those quilts where you can do a mixture, and if you've got one of those machines that... You've got a lot of decorative stitches. Oh, yeah, so you've done raw red applique on some of them. Yeah. You've done snowflake applique around there. Yeah, you won't be able to see this on you. You won't be able to see it. No. no. It, and you could also, I mean, you get threads in the kit. So that was the pale blue that came in the kit. Yes. So it's very nice. But if you wanted to, to really stand out, you could do a navy blue or something. Which were, or you could do one that, that a contrast. Yeah. A contrast. You could do a contrast colour. Not with the kit, not with the fact, not with the threads we've put in the kit but if you had got another one anyway or oh, tell you what you could do if you've got that orofil 12 box you could you know orofil 12 the thick oh, the thick yeah. you could Ooh. have done like a blanket stitch with the thick or, mm -hmm. and made a real feature of it in one of the colors are you all right there yeah i've lost my foot the pedal she means the pedal not a <laughs> real foot thank you what <laughs> stitch are you using then I found one. I oh, you found one? I found one. You, I have you been on the Prosecco <laughs> already this morning? <laughs> Look. Wait. What's the matter? What have you done wrong with it? Oh, I don't if know. you break it, you pay for it. You do realise <laughs> it. It's, it's shouting at It's me. saying that. Oh, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. Right, let me just do this. Yeah, let's just. Right, and then you just put it on a zigzag. Yes. Uh, 11? 11. Okay. I don't know if that is the right... It's, it's just, uh, that might oh. be a feather stitch zigzag. Oh, there we go. There you go. It's all right. There you go. Yeah. No, no. If my, oh, I think I might have put my other sparkly one. Did I throw it on the floor this one? to go in the wash basket? Oh. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, Paul says, what have you got in your nails? Oh, me? Yeah. It's, it's, it's eh? Is it, mm. is it iridescent? Oh, it possibly is. I, I grabbed it and did it in a... It's like the uh, mother of pearl. That's what it's like. Yeah. Oh, actually, from this angle, it looks gold. Oh, okay. But from that angle, it looks pink. How weird. It's shot, I think it is. <laughs> I don't think that's iridescent, is it? Um, so, let's just go, so you've, you've got your four big squares for the outside, you've then made your, what's this one, what's that called, that four square triangle block, has it got a name, it has, doesn't it? Well, you've this yeah, here. Yeah, it's like an hourglass. Hourglass, like, so you yeah. make, you've got your square, you make an hourglass, you've got your square, then you put it all, t did you put it together then, because, now, you replicate this bit, mm -hmm. and those bits, before, so each, each one is appliqued before it gets sewn together. Yes. And so on that one there, and then, if you'd finished it, that one would have been yep. done, and that one would have been done, yep. and that one would have been, and then you put them all together. Yes. Then you put your Borders. first border on, mm -hmm. then you put your second border on, yep. then you made a quilt sandwich, yep. then you put your back in, oh no, that's got your back on. Yeah, yeah. Then you did gorgeous long arm quilting, mm -hmm. and then you bound it. Yes. What you have to remember, which is what I'll remind you in a minute when we mm -hmm. go over there, is if you're going to use the plain colour of the border, you can only use, now you, we said a single layer, Layers. so you yes. normally do a double layer, double. don't you? Yeah, I usually cut it three inches wide yeah. and double it over. Yeah. For this one, I did two inches wide and just did a single. Folded it over the once. Yeah. Back in an hour, doing a doggy cushion, but we've got kits yes. for doggies and cats. I'll see yeah. you in an hour. Okay. Righty ho. Oh, I've forgotten the book after all that. I'm so worried about my big splodge on my shirt. Uh, right, book first, book first, book first. Here you go. Red and white. Lots in baskets. Uh, this is always popular. Every time we bring this in, it's always popular. Red and white quilting book by Linda Pumphrey. 
Oh, is that why you were talking about Eric earlier? £19.95. It's really lovely. 40 blocks. Lots of uh, ideas and everything. Four bundles. The Liberty one first, which is the one that was on the wall. So you get four and a half metres of ivory, four metres of Liberty, half a metre of the chambray, and you get the two threads. £99.99. And 99 pence. That's the bundle. Uh, once you've all checked out, that will be the most popular. The one that Emma was just using is the lilac -y one. Lilac, as our friend Caroline used to say. Or still does, she still does say it. Uh, four and a half metres of the ivory, four metres of the lilac uh, bijou, and half a metre of magenta, plus your two threads. There's the bundle, 75 99 oh, I've got the green one next, if that's all right. So this one, you've got four and a half metres of the cream. Oh, Laura's looking at a watch, like, come on, get on with it, John. I've got things to do. Then you've got the green uh, bijou. And then you've got your chartreuse, half a metre, plus your two threads. £75.99. And, and then last but not least, we've got the um, crimson one. Half a metre of claret. Uh, four metres of your crimson uh, bijou and four and a half metres of your cream plus your threads, your two threads. That's £75.99. Now, if you'd like to buy some wadding, uh, obviously it's personal choice wadding. We, got, we sell all sorts of different waddings, right? This is the one we're using for this one, but if you want to go to the website, you can do to choose another one if you want to. This one, 90 by 118 inches, £28.99, 100% cotton. Oh, is it though? I'm saying, no, it's 80-20, sorry, 80-20. Do you know the history behind this, the designer, Catherine Hardcastle, right? I was at Festival Quilts and Catherine actually came up to me with a suitcase full of all of her gorgeous quilts and said, I really, really, really want to work. I really want to work with Sewing Quarter. Um, so I gave her, uh, I sent her details to Liz, you know, Liz, who was, used to be in charge. And then Liz sent her details to Wendy. And then Wendy's got to create all these gorgeous pieces. And there's loads more in the pipeline for the new year and everything. So it's going to be fantastic. Anyway, let's have a look at the picture of the dog quilt first of all oh let's have a there you go so i've got the pattern for this then there's also two cushions so, in, so if you get the dog i'm just showing the dog one first right these are the two cushions for the dog that's a uh no what is that it's not a cockapoo is it what's that Spaniel. Oh, I've got a, It's a Spaniel, Don. Don't you even know that? And then this one's a bulldog. Like Wilma. Like, did you see the picture of me and Wilma? Me and Wilma on um, Facebook got 600 likes. Yeah. Boxer, that's what I just said. Oh, did I? I meant Boxer. Sorry. No, because Ripley and Zuma are bull, have got bulldogs in them. Anyway, uh, so that's the... That's the this is, the bun this is the bundle for the dogs, right? You get 16 metres of fabric. I'll get... So, yeah, so uh, the vanilla must be a, a linen, uh, um, linen, linen texture. Three metres of that. Black metre and a half. Metre and a half of chartreuse. Yellow spray time, a metre. Bijou a metre. Yellow floral a metre. That looks very liberty, doesn't it? Midnight, that's the one with the little purple dots on it, yeah? The what, sorry? Brunette? Is that what that's called now? We've got new, new fabric trees. That's called brunette now. White, I know that one. That's white, a metre of that. And then half a metre of red, half a metre of spray time, half a metre of heron, half a metre of the lilac, half a metre of spray time, half a metre of the caramel, half a metre of bijou, half a metre of bijou. Then you also get all of these, right? So you get the dog cushion patterns for both. For both. I mean, all of this comes in, right? So there's the dog push. Oh, spaniel. And all your templates. I presume, are they all the right size? Yeah, they're all full size. They're all full size, all the templates. Okay, but that's not all you get because then you also get 
the quilt pattern, the kennel quilt pattern. So everything you need for the kennel quilt pattern. And then you also get all of these, which are the templates for the quilt. So every template that you need all comes in that bundle. You get so much for your 159.99. The only thing I need to point out is you don't get any thread in that bundle. There's no thread in that bundle. Right, but now the cats, the cats, the cats, the cats. Now, have you got a picture of the cat quilt then, Ben? Okay, can you just move to one side, Emma, please? Thank you. Here's the cat quilt. Why haven't we got these from the original days? Yeah. So there's the cat quilt. And then I've also got cat cushions, which is this one. Now, obviously, the fabrics I've got today don't match these. These are just ones we've already made up. And then this cat. OK, but obviously, those are different fabrics. Those are different fabrics. So, so this bundle, you get the Harmony Tree Hotel uh, quilt um, pattern and you get the cat cushion. Now, you need to know something about the cat. If you've already bought it in the past, this was missing. This was missing, right? You will all be sent one of these. It's, it's just a template for the tail. For some reason, it didn't get put into the original print. You, if you buy today, you'll be fine. You'll get it. If you bought it in the past, you will be. Wendy's doing it on, uh, personally, sorting it all out personally. Because there'll be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds you've got that. So you'll all get that template in there. You get your two threads. And then the fabric in this, you get 13 metres of fabric in this one. So starting here with the bijou. Two and a half meets that lovely bijou. That brunette, two meters. Royal meter and a half. Like ivory or cream, the next one. I think that's a meter. Cream a meter, zinc a meter, pale blue a meter. Then I'm on to half meters then. Everything else, so you get half meter of the pumpkin. Half a metre of the bijou, half a metre of the spray time, half a metre of the white, half a metre of the black, half a metre of that gorgeous green, half a metre of the apple spot, half a metre of the sand spot. Uh, plus, you, and then you do get two threads in this one, two threads in this one. Half the start of the cats. Right, are the cats beating the dogs? <gasps> oh, uh, half the stock of the cat bundles gone already. And we're what, five minutes in, five minutes in. Uh, so there's a dog quilt for, uh, uh, well, anyway, uh, I'll get on. What are we, I'll take this one with me. I'll take this, I'm taking this one with me, Annika. Now, the, obviously, we're, um, the fabrics that we're doing are different to these fabrics, but, oh, right. The cats are winning outright at the moment. So now, what are we going to be showing this morning? Oh, that's oh, not very it. attractive. It's <laughs> sideways. And, anyway. No, it's upside down. Oh, now it's up to <laughs> one job, honestly. Well, I expected it to have a cushion in it, that's why. There we go. So we're going to show how to make this, are we? Yes. OK. Yes, mostly the applique. So it's, it's pretty similar to the last hour. It's a lot of applique uh, and... Have you got, got, yes, to, you got it on your side? Working. OK. Yeah, right. I checked it. Right. Um. Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on. Let's, let's have a good look at it. Let me put it on the table. I'm going to put it down on the table, Ben. Make sure your yeah. bits don't waft away. Oh, thanks. There's a lot of bits, aren't there, to this? There is. There's more in the box. So this one's a little bit simpler than the box. So the box oh, is that why she came in and go, I'm not doing the box, sir. I'm not doing the box, sir. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I did it last week with Darren. And oh, I put it with who? Derek. <laughs> Darren. I called him John last week as well. You called him John? Yes. Oh, no. John Darren. Derek. Oh, Derek, his name is. You got that? Derek? Yes, yes. Right. So I kept Darren. Thinking, Why would you call him Darren? Does I he look know. like a Darren? No, he doesn't. He does look like... I do remember Derek, because in my mind I was thinking Zoolander. Derek, Zoolander. Like, like the connection. Do you remember? Isn't Zoolander the very camp model? Isn't that uh, Stiller? Ben Stiller in Zoolander? But he's not... He's, Does he he's, look like he's, Ben, ben they, Stiller? No, no, no. It's just the, the connection. The, uh, to remember. I'm lost. Anyway, it I'm was just lost. to remember Derek. Yes. Oh, he's not going to want to see me again. He's not going to work with me ever again. He doesn't again. mind. He doesn't mind. Um, <laughs> so you did the bulldog? Yes. No, the we boxer. The boxer. 
which the I think is Dizzy. Because remember last time we did the cats, Catherine uh, messaged in. Oh, did she? Yeah, because she was working on dogs and she sent us a picture of her boxer. Oh, oh you've got a good... Was yeah. that with me? Yeah, was that yeah. with Darren? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have was, you worked with Amelia me? as well? No, he's going to throw it now. Right, okay. OK, then. So let's oh. get on with this. Oh, sorry. That's OK. Right, so, so it, there's lots of fabric in that bundle. There but, is. But that's to make the quilt... And the two cushions, cushions, isn't it? Yes, yeah. and you can mix and match, which is what I love about sewing quilts. Oh, so you don't yes. have to do it exactly. You can change yeah, it up a little bit. Yeah, because if you've got a cat that isn't ginger, mm -hmm. you could use one of the other fabrics yeah. that, and then use the ginger somewhere else, couldn't exactly. you? Exactly. And the borders on the cushions, I've changed up a little bit. So when I did it last week, I actually did a black border. Oh, OK. Which really made the, the, the parts of the dog that overlap stand out. Of course, of course, really nice. yes. Because it's very clever, isn't it? Because it's not just a picture within a frame, that no, everything, all, especially on there, the yeah, leaves yeah. overlap extends. into the, the, the frame and everything, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. Which is lovely. Right, just to recap, um, bonder web. Oh, yes. So I've traced my, some of my shapes on my bonder web. Five metres on a roll. And the way I do it is I do all the shapes. This is for my tulip, one of my tulips. Yeah. So I've traced all my shapes sort of together on the bonder web and then press it on all at once. So now, so now in the pattern, does it say which one's supposed to be which colour? Um, no. As in, how do you know those three bits that you've just cut out there, the tulip? It names it as tulip, and it also tells you what side of the tulip and what part of the tulip is. Right. But it doesn't give you any colourway instructions on the templates. Right, OK. So you know nice. that the, the, the three pieces have, of the tulip have to come out of the same fabric. Yes. Okay. And for the, for the doggy parts and for the cat parts, um, you just used to use your reference picture to right. say, OK, that's that piece, that's what the colour it should be. Oh, um, now they had, to change, to, they had to change one of these, didn't they? Because the picture of the one cat. that was on top of it... It was the cat. Has it been sorted, though? Let's just check. Go on, you carry on. Yep. What are you trying to say to me, Paul? Oh, yes, look, they haven't changed it, you see, because look... Oh. This is the cat one, right? But look, they, th these are... You can't see on the outside. No, actually, you can't see anywhere. Because hasn't that cat got something on the shelf? Oh, um, it does. Yes, on, the little birds. There's a bird. You see, this is... So on, when, if you get the cat one, these are the only pictures you get of this. And that, that cushion has a bird underneath there. It's just been overlapped. And they, they were going to change that. Yeah, whoever's knocking their microphone upstairs. <laughs> um, anyway. So remember, there's a bird on that one as well. Yeah, but I, I did that cushion with birds, and I just Google imaged Catherine Hargrove. Oh, yes, of course you did. Yeah, so that's how you I, it's not the end of the world. I, you are able to find an image of it. You can Google Yahoo or Bing, can't you? Oh, yes. Uh, what we said about limited, Paul, sorry. <clears throat> oh, already. The cat, the cat bundle is limited. The cat Ooh. bundle is limited. OK. So with the boxer, you can actually just put all your box, your borders on for the cushion all at once. Okay. If you remember the cats, there's some that go underneath and some on top. So you can't? No. So right. you have to make sure you, you place it in order. Right. With the spaniel, it's a little bit like the cats. So you've got to put your green base on first before you put your border on. All oh, right. So I've done all my other borders. Again, yes. I'm doing a different colour. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to put my last border on because you want your applique piece to be under your yeah, border. Yeah, so the applique... It's, it's funny, isn't it? I say applique, you say applique. applique. And then I was watching another channel, and they just called it... I can't remember how she said it, but I was like, was it just applique? Applique. Like, what? She just goes, applique. And I was like, Ooh, have some sort of stress in there. It's not yes. just applique. Anyway, uh, so you've got your applique bit that's going to be appliqued on there. Yes. It has to go on before the bottom bit of yes. the border. Right. Yeah, so this will be sewn on afterwards, but you want your to hide the bottom bit of your... Your this is all in the instructions, which you're ordered to do it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, good. Yes, and yeah. you do read the instructions carefully yes. before you do it. And you weren't doing this late on Christmas night time, though. You've done this before. Haven't you? <laughs> I've done this in the last hour. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be saying that. We're well prepped on yeah. our channel. Oh, yeah. Well, it just goes to show how, you know, if you want to do it quite quickly, it's... Yes, but you have done but it about eight times now. That is true. Uh-oh, what have you done now? I've got to change my needle position because it's my quarter-inch foot. Oh, right, OK. Oh, so it's quarter-inch seam lance everywhere, is it, on this? Yes. Yes, for the border. So that's, that's pretty typical quilting. Well, I was going to say yes. Method. Yes, I suppose it would be. Yeah. I 
was I meant to ask? So, are my nails looking funny? On no, not funny. Oh, okay. Paul was just trying to show off that he knew the word iridescent. Oh, but I see. But it's when you move them, they look different colours. Because oh, okay. from here, they look gold, but mm -hmm. from the front, they look pink. Okay. I didn't know Paul says he wasn't criticising you. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know whether it was one, a colour to show off or one to bring out again. Oh, no, bring it out again. Okay. At Christmas. Okay. He <laughs> says, have you got any TARDIS fabric left? Because he'd like a T-shirt made out of it. <laughs> I do have a little bit. Oh, Paul, we need a little bit of Paul, really. Don't we? <laughs> I can make him a scarf. What'd you say, Paul? Oh, he wants it. Have you got any fabric that's Game of Thrones related? That's what I'm sure I could find some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When's it going to start? It's not... Oh, 2019, we're going to say April. Oh, not long. It'll be here before we know it. <sighs> then imagine on the last day that the, there'll be people, you know, like when Take That split up oh. the first time. There'll be, there'll be people, well, Paul will be one of them, mortified that it's over. Okay. I heard okay. it's amazing ending though, isn't it? No, it could be an ending where, where dramatic. I don't know anything about it, but it will yeah, be dramatic. No, I haven't watched it. You've not watched any of it? No. You see, it's not really my kind of thing. And then mm. somebody I, somebody came to stay and they said, oh, can we watch this with the mm -hmm. first series? Watch Game of Thrones. I was like, oh, no. And a friend of mine had done the costumes. And I was like, I don't even like the costumes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, Michelle. Um, <laughs> she's won lots of awards for it now. But anyway, and then we watched the first episode and I thought, hmm. And then I didn't watch any more. And he said to me, have you watched it? And he sent them all on DVD. He said, have mm -hmm. you watched them? You watched them? So I sat and watched, binge watched after yeah, that. Yeah, that's and what I've heard. Can't, I can't now. Yeah. yeah, I can't now not, not, not watch it. It's I, just, it, but I, I, I like to, I can't do one a week because oh. you watch the first one, you can't, I can't wait till no, the next one. So I do all three or four and then watch those okay. four together. Well, I might wait till the whole series is over and just and get do, the, Yes, yeah, exactly. And do it all exactly. in once. Because I've heard the same Be, thing. Because also so much happens that if somebody used to say to you, oh, oh Khaleesi did this, you'll never remember it when no. you come to it because so much happens. I haven't heard yeah. anything yeah. from anybody. Right. So okay. hang on. So is this go... Oh, no, I'm looking over there. This goes over. It does. Yeah, you just can't see it on that one. Yeah. It actually goes over and it goes under your second border. So I've just put the first one on for now. Yeah. Right. So I'll to the edge. Oh, that, that, only yeah. that far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want it to be. And then it's just a point of uh, looking at the picture and placing. And again, it's the order. So you, some bits want to go on top, some go underneath. So does it tell you or is that up to you to decide? It's up to you to kind of work out. Just is it like looking. a jigsaw that you can all do together? Yes. there well no Ben what you do is you place them oh, all first time. and then don't stick anything down, down. Um, what's that bit that's its head I can that's see it's on its head but oh I that's his nose there yeah. like that. look I have done one bit ahead so I've done his eyes ahead because those are a little bit fiddly right I won't say tricky but a little bit fiddly so you'll get a back bit for the eyes, and this is for the boxer as well. Right. Then you put your irises and pupils on top. Yeah, now you don't have to do it. I love this, but you don't have to do it. This, you, these fabrics, you don't get these fabrics. Or oh, it's gone, but you don't get, definitely don't get that fabric. But you know what I mean? So you can mix it as much as you want. So if you want a red border, you can have a red border. You don't have mm -hmm. to have a red border. Uh, sorry, what were you just saying? You've got a bit what? There's oh. a bit. The eyes. Oh, eyes. Yeah, the eyes you can prep, and the boxer as well. There's some bits you can prep, and I've added his nose to his cheeks already. Okay. Uh, Nurse Julie. Morning, John. Uh, Nurse Julie and all. Nurse Julie here. Was working all day yesterday. Nice to relax and watch you and your wonderful guest. Happy New Year. This is oh. Emma. If you don't know, this is Emma. That's Julie. She's a nurse. She works oh, very hard. I do. It's, weird, it's really weird, isn't it? Because I, last year I worked on Christmas Day and this year obviously I've done Christmas Eve and Boxing Day and it doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother me at all. Mm -hmm. But then you think about all the people yes, with worthy jobs. I mean, I yes, just I like stand here and waffle. You know, yeah. People with worthy jobs and everything. You just think... Anyway. Yes. My granddad always worked on Christmas Day. I remember, well, a lot, often. Your dad? My granddad. Oh, your, what did he yeah. do? He was a fireman in the brickyards. So he used to... Um, Fireman in a brickyard. Yeah, he used to keep the the fires. Oh, not and going. A fireman putting them out. No, a fireman keeping them going. Yes. Oh. Yeah, where I well, making Peter bricks. Where yeah. are you from then? Peterborough. There used to be a lot. There's one left, but there used to be a lot of brickyards. Did they? Yeah. 
My house is uh, the houses that where I live. They're all they knocked down a mm -hmm. big old manor house, and all of our houses are made with the bricks. Oh, from that. From nice. that. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I've... Now, what have you missed out the eyes? I've missed out the eyes. This is why it's good to. Um, I've taken the paper off the back, but I haven't pressed. Oh yeah, it don't dwell this anywhere warm then. Oh no. Because if they're warm, they'd be getting stuck, and she just made a mistake. Yep. Right. Bob Ross doesn't call them mistakes. Tongue goes underneath, yeah. Okay. We're missing a paw. Yes. Oh, sorry. So there's a paw this way, which goes. I might have to move his ear down a little bit as well. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. it's all too high. Yes. But this is the whole point of being able to just place it before it's. Yes. And it, it doesn't have to be exact. Mm. That goes underneath there. Mm. What's so that? when oh, I was leg. on with Derek... Darren, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's it now. He's going to be called Darren forever now. Um, he decided that this spaniel was Sprocket from Fraggle Rock. Oh, I don't know. I've never seen that. OK. What's Fraggle Rock? I don't I really don't know. What is it? Okay. Ch is it it's a children's program? It was. It's from the 80s. It's a oh, well, word. I'm too old. That's why. Just rub <laughs> it in. I had a fully-fledged career by oh. the 80s, thank you. Dar uh, da Darren's older <laughs> than that, though, isn't he? How does he remember that? Is it, how old are you, Paul? And how old's Darren? Oh, so that's why. Okay. Oh, am I really that much older than him? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, was that a TV show, was it? Yes. It was well, it's sort of Muppets. Oh, OK. Yeah, and they lived underground. Oh, they were Jim Henson, weren't they? So same yeah, yeah. thing. I had banana splits. Do you, remember, you won't remember the banana splits. Oh, you, do you remember? You must be on replay, though, not the, re the originals. There we go. I think that's him. There's an awful lot of bits, aren't there? There are. And I have to admit, the boxer... Oh, I need to be switched a little bit more. The boxer's a little bit more, but I lo the thing I love about the boxer is that there's so much detail in his face, or in her face, I think it's Dizzy. Oh, right, yeah, in her. Um, She's not watching today, then, no. obviously. <laughs> that it's really detailed and really nice, and it's just, a met, like I said, it's like a little jigsaw to put it all together, but... Now, what happens if you press that and that bit was sticking out? Can... You could snip it. Yeah. But you've um, got glue underneath you it. You do have glue underneath. You have to do lots of wider stitches there then. Yes. You're only doing one tulip then? Yes. Right. I can do another one. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then I did, yeah, I didn't get to the bee in the leaves. And what? The bee in the leaves. Where are they then? Oh. <laughs> Just as well, I've got brand new fabrics to go through in a I minute, know, isn't I it? I know, I know. In a minute, put a pause gagging to go over and do the new fabrics. <laughs> He's got the really bad sniffles as well to say everyone. That's all right. No. Oh, well, Hannah was really not very well last week at all. And they oh. forget that there's a microphone this far away from their oh. mouth. So Paul's like, going, <laughs> Hannah, <they're doing> <laughs> so attractive. So I've done red tulips because that's what was on the, the picture. And I like red tulips anyway. But with the bundles, you could really. So wh well, what, what other colours are in? Oh, the bundles have been put away. Oh. That's the yellow, I think. Or you could use the yellows. Yellow for the bee, you could do yellow Oh, yeah, you could use well. yellow tulips. Or you could do one of each. Oh, hang on, look, there's, there's the fabrics, look. So you've got the yellow. Oh, you could do, even use the floral. I wonder, because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. if you don't use them in this, you use them in the quilt, won't you? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's all sort of, it could be the leaves and the quilt or anything. It's up to you, but I would choose before you started what you're going to use everything for, because you wouldn't want to get do all of you. Say you do the cushion first, and then thinking the quilt. Oh, I'll just put that there, and you've used you've used it. Do you know what'd be nice? We use that floral fabric for the soles of their feet and everything. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. um, Penny, happy Boxing Day. Wish you a wonderful two. Oh, it's frightening. 2019, <gasps> 2019. Oh, no. um, oh yeah, Penny, sending lots of love to you and your mum. Uh, lots of love, Pen. Oh, that, oh, well, I'll check the basket first, but I'm a bit worried about the cat one. There you go, try and get it um, anatomically correct a little bit. Well, you should do, being a botanist. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, right. 
Right, I just better warn you, this is what the computer's telling us, that there are seven available of the cat quilts, but there are 12 people got it in their baskets, and there's also three people on the phone line. So Ooh. that means if you're all in for the cat quilt, there's not enough to go around. If you've got the cat quilt in your basket, then there's no guarantee that you're gonna be able to get it. I'm only, t I'm only telling you what the computer's saying. So, you know, if you ring up now and you want one, you'll, you'll still get it, I think, if you ring right now, and it's 11.23 on Wednesday, Tuesday morning. Is it Wednesday? I'm lost. Wednesday. Right, so now what are you going to do now? Now I'm going to press it. Now I'm happy with how, where everything is. Right. And you wouldn't want to do this until you're happy with where right. everything is because it will stick. And don't do if you've got a cold and you're about to sneeze. Yeah, no, don't do that. So now the June, the June Teff, June Taylor. Yeah, that would have been helpful. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick this bit down. Also, the little mini iron works well for this yes. as well. Yes, somebody messaged in earlier to say they got the mini iron for Christmas. Oh. It's twisted, that's why it was there oh, you go. Oh, okay, that will explain. So it was actually, that's the trouble with the white. <gasps> did I put that one there? No, I, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. So it's actually bonder web. Yes. Up. Ooh. Right, while you're unsticking that, <laughs> I've got some brand new fabrics to show you. And we won't, we'll be back, we'll be back, we'll be back, we'll be back. Do you need Laura or you can be right? Yeah, okay. Brand new Michael Miller fabric. Oh, I've just, oh, I've just seen one. I didn't notice that one earlier. Right, now I've got it in a mega bundle, but I've also got every single one of them by the half metre as well. So if you want the mega bundle, which is this, you get half a metre of each of these fabrics. Look, I, just, I didn't see that one this morning. Aren't they just gorgeous? So what I'll do is, uh, that's the mega bundle, three metres of fabric, there you go. So now I can do them all by the half metre. This is when I'll waft them, and you can see what the actual fabrics look like. Now obviously these pieces that I'm wafting, if you buy the mega bundle, you get half a metre of each one. And if you buy two mega bundles, they don't come joined together. However, I'm about to show you what a metre looks like. So that's two units. Oh, these are going to fly out. These are going to absolutely fly out. They're brand new. They're Michael Miller, the 100% cotton, machine washable. Oh, look, so that's a meto. That will be your 16 pounds. That will be your 16 pounds. The blue is gorgeous, isn't it? So this is Michael Miller Retro Rover in the blue fabric from the poor print range. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide. Seven ninety nine half a meter. Which ones? Oh yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah. No, they're not switching. He said, "Look at her over there. Look at her over there." And that, that one's going. That one's going. Which one? Which one? I can't see. I can't see which one. Which one? The one with the flower in his mouth's a bit, a bit away with the fairies. Then there's one having a sleep. One mid leap. Who's doing a handstand? I don't think dogs are really known for handstands, though, are they? Oh, isn't that beautiful? So half a metre, seven ninety-nine, seven. pounds That's obviously a metre. That will be your sixteen pounds for that piece there. How cute is that? The blue is good. That's hemimorphite blue, isn't it? That's the Buddha, blue Buddha, Buddha blue, Buddha blue. I got so many Buddha things for Christmas. It was fantastic. Right. So now shall I stay with dogs then? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll stay with dogs. I'll stay with dogs, right? So then I'm going to do this one here. <laughs> this one, one of these has got one of those little um, thought bubbles coming out. It's just got a little love heart. In the, look, oh, I think this might be my favourite. Look. Oh, no, because one of them's got a thought bubble with a bone in it. Look. This is uh, dog-eared in rainbow. You see, there's the one with the heart, look, and then there's the one with the bone, the one with the green tummy, the little fat one with the green tummy. Oh, there was a thing on the... I've heard so much on the news coming in today. 80% of pet animals are obese. Dogs especially, because they don't get enough exercise and eat too much. Seven ninety-nine, half a metre. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'd love to know what you're going to make out of it. 
Well, no, I'm thinking fashion, not something for the dog. I'm thinking of something fashionable. Oh, little kids' clothes, and that'd be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Don't make, well, um, they, they bought a dog coat for Zuma, one of the, you know, one of Francesca's dogs. And he just put it on, she just put it on, and she just stood like this. To me, if, if you do that with Norman, if I dress Norman up, and then the nativity, oh, the shepherd's never arrived, by the way. My nativity outside my house, the shepherd's never, I'm taking it down tonight, so they're too late. Anyway, I've already had neighbours booking it for next year. Now I've got Dachshunds now. I've got Dachshunds now on the blue background. Now these are the same fabric. Oh, what is it about dogs and hearts? These are hearts and bones as well, look. No, it's not that people love dogs, it's that they're in love with each other, look. Look, they love heart, they love each other, and they love bones, that's what it is. Look. Look. Uh, this is Puppy Love. There you go, Puppy Love. And they called it Puppy Love. Donny. Uh, $7.99. Not Darren. That's Darren Day. Were you thinking of Darren Day? No. $7.99. I'm sure he's been called worse things than Darren, so it'll be fine. He won't mind. Haven't we all? Right, and then I've got that in white. Now the white one would make a gorgeous shirt. It's not, no, it's, it's not all white because there's brown on it, there's red on it, there's yellow on it. Look. I'll wear my new Claudio Lugly Christmas shirt tomorrow. You wouldn't know it was Christmas. My, my brother bought it for me for Christmas. No, no, but it's still in the Christmas week, isn't it? You wouldn't know it was a Christmas shirt. You wouldn't know it was a Christmas shirt. If I'd worn it, you wouldn't have gone, oh, look at John with his Christmas shirt on. Oh, don't. Put the toothpaste on it. Puppy love in white. Oh, in, in happy white. No, no, it's called happy white. What song are we going to sing? Well, no, you can sing puppy love, but it's not in just in white, is it? It's in happy white. I wonder what the difference between white and happy white is. Is this happy? It's lovely and bright, isn't it? What would be like after the first wash, though? That's what I'm worried, you know. No, my, me putting it with the wrong... The first wash is the deepest, baby, I you know. Right, OK, 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 OK. Now, that, that's the dogs done. Now, cats on the quilts have been most popular. Let's see if the same happens with the fabric. Now, I've got cutesy cats first on... Oh! Oh, Ben loves this. Ben just, ben just went, oh! If you could see the size of Ben, he's a big lad, right? Nearly as big as Jesse. Ditsy cats. Michael Miller, furry princess. Hang on, where, what did you just call it? No, what did you just call this fabric? It's not cute. Oh, so it's not this title title. I was looking for the word that in title because it's furry princess. You're nowhere near as big as Jessie's kneecap, Paul. Aren't they beautiful? Now, it looks a different colour on my telly than it does in real life. Seven ninety nine for half a meter. That's so beautiful, isn't it? I thought you would. I thought you would. Now are the cat's going to overtake the dogs. This is the question. Brand new, brand new fabric. Brand, brand spanking new fabric. Look. Now my last fabric, my last new fabric, uh, is quite cheeky. Not cheeky rude. Not cheeky rude. No, now that's a mouse. The cat hasn't left a deposit. Ma, I'll tell you what, what happened. One year, you know my friend Barbie, right? Her mum knew, knows that I like cats. She bought me this um, picture. It was like a doodle of cats and everything. And she sent it to me as a Christmas card and everything. And, and it was only when you looked at the picture and it was all cats doing poo, right? In the field and in the here and there. Steaming poo, right? And I said to her, you do know, Mary, you do know all these cats are doing a poo. Like, and she was like, oh, and she was mortified because she thought it was lovely drawings of cats and everything. And they're all like, you know, doing the business. Clever cat, this one's called. In cotton ball. Yeah, no, that, I'm not thinking the one the water ball. I'm thinking the one by the tail up there, look. I didn't have my glasses on, though. I didn't have my glasses. 
<laughs> Michael Miller, clever cat in cotton ball white. You see, that other one was happy white. <clears throat> this is cotton ball white from the Paul Prince range. Loads of you coming in for that. Yeah, I'll do the mega bundle. Now, remember in the mega bundle, you only get half. Of, these are all a metre. You're only getting half a metre of each in the mega bundle. And if you buy two mega bundles, it doesn't come joined together. You'll get two half metres of each fabric. Right, here we go. There we go. Here's your mega bundle. Half a metre of each you get of these. Okay, right, I'll go back. Now, uh, we're saying the cat one sold out now. The cat one is almost... Oh, right, there are four people who haven't checked out their baskets, but there are more than four people got it in their basket. So, so not all of you will get it now. I'm ever so sorry, I hate to say that, but not all of you will get it. So now, what are you doing? I'm doing the stitching around the edge. Yes. I'm doing it a little bit differently than what I have done. Right. So normally I would go straight over the raw edge. You didn't, you didn't make this one, did you? I this didn't make that no. one. I made a cat cushion before. Did you? you make, oh, you, did you make one of those? It was a Christmas one. Okay. So you didn't no. make a cat no. What stitches did you use on that then? On that one I did all blanket stitch. Like this? Like yes. this? Here you go. Except for the one that I did had birds on it and the birds I just did straight stitching okay. around. Okay. So well. you see these have got blanket stitch around them. Machine blanket stitch, obviously. There you go. But on this one... You're doing raw edge applique, are you? Yes. Now, in real life, mm -hmm. would you wash the fabrics first? I'm just thinking if you're making a cushion mm -hmm. and say little Paul comes round and he drops a red wine on it or something, yeah. he'd then suck the cushion, so it doesn't really <laughs> matter, it would be all right. But, but you need to put it in the washing machine. Mm -hmm. I mean, 90%, 95% of the time it's going to be fine, isn't yeah. it? But I'm just... So my philosophy was, I, I tend to pre-wash everything. Yeah. Well, I do only because I'm dressmaking background yeah. and you do that anyway. And I yeah. do that with the jersey as well. Yeah. Um, so one, to get the stretch out of it, well, the shrink out of it. Yes. If it does, is, it is going to shrink. And also just to check the colour fastness. Yes. So if it's something that, especially a big quilt, like those two-tone quilts, I would definitely pre-wash. Oh, yes, a red and white, a red and white quilt, you definitely yes. pre-wash that. Yes, although you always I'd put a colour catcher in this as well if you wash it, just on the safe side. Not, not when you wash the fabric to be yeah. but if you then wash it afterwards. I did, Sometimes, if, yeah. if I'm being... If you wash it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do, I do wash them quite a when bit, you, actually. When, but... when you take a quilt, though, to the, to the cleaners, they mm -hmm. make you sign a... Oh! A, thi a, thi a thingy a to thing. say, if anything goes wrong, it's your own fault. Oh, OK. Yeah, no, I... Mm -hmm. I'm not precious about my quilts, they're all used, so mine just goes in the washing machine and the tumble dryer. Oh yeah, it's only because one of the ones I've got is too big to go in the oh, washing yeah. machine. So, um, my friend Barbie, this is when, when I used to live next to Barbie, the one I was telling you about earlier, about her mum, she had this, um, I think it's a Dyson washing machine, and the drum mm -hmm. is enormous, so you oh, can do duvet, I can't oh, do duvets, nice. the actual duvets yeah, on I would, mine. I would like I, I've to, just yeah, got a normal melier, me, 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 whatever it's called, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, so I have to take them to be washed elsewhere, but she could just bung everything in hers, oh, it was nice. big enough. But the actual thing of it was the same size as a normal, oh, it just fitted in just a normal washing machine thing. But the drum was bigger? Yeah. Oh, good to know. I think it was a Dyson anyway. Nice. So now you're going round it, but more than once. Yes. So this is kind of, you can do this if you're good at free motion um, embroidery or quilting. Yes. In which case you, would, you wouldn't have a, a foot like this. It would be an embroidery foot. Yes. And would you drop your feed dogs then? Drop the feed oh, dogs. Oh, and literally do it like that yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not doing it like that. No. I can do it like that, but... And it does go quicker, actually. And yeah, you but can, you have to be confident to be able to... I, you do. Yeah, the first time I did that, I just tried to do a straight, square box and it went all over yeah. the place. Yeah. But you can do it with a, with a straight and the feed dogs up like, like this. And it doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy. It actually looks, you know... Yeah, like I'm actually quite liking that. Yeah. I don't normally like raw red Ooh. but I'm quite liking that. And if you just go slow... And I've only done it twice, but you can go around it another time if you, if you really want to... Yeah. And you, now, the cat one didn't come with threads. No, no, the cat, yeah. Oh, hang on, which way around was it? The cat one did come with threads. And what colour were the threads that came with the cat one? Blue and white. You're using the blue one, then? I'm no, no, Ben, they've sold oh, out. Don't oh, worry. Oh, no, I'm using a black. Oh, OK. So it shows up quite yeah. well. You could do a brown. 
Because you've got the dog one anyway. Yes. So the cat one came with threads. The, the dog one doesn't come with threads. But we do have... Did you say you got a picture of it, Paul? We've got a... It, they were supposed to be delivered on the van, but they weren't from the warehouse. We've got a bundle of threads that we're selling to go with the dog quilt. So you could use any of those colours that you wanted to... If, yep. If you want to, you get eight threads for, well, that's a good price, Thirteen ninety nine. So if you wanted to, you, well, you wouldn't go around it in the yellow, but you could go yeah. round it. In a grey. In, in the grey, or the black, or the dark green, or whichever one you wanted yeah. to go round it in. Yeah. But uh, uh, normally I would have this on the table to show you, but the warehouse forgot to send it. So that's it. If you wanted to buy the threads that we suggest to go with the dog quilt. Right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so here we go. So we've just done round the feet. Mm -hmm. And I've done them in order, so you can see my leg this part of the leg is above the paw on top of the paw right so with the paw i've gone all the way up to the edge of the leg and stopped and stopped and then i've gone over the top of the next oh bit. so you've not gone all the way right around the outside no. of a dog so you're doing each section mm -hmm. round the outside yeah but you haven't gone across there on the white one then. no no okay but you can if you want to i'm i've just done that because i think that looks you see, I quite like this Roger Speaker because it almost looks like a doodle, like a yeah. drawing, doesn't it? Rather than a finished thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's an awful lot. Cause there is, but you do it, if you do it quite slow. Yeah. I mean, I've just done that in the last, what, five, ten minutes? And How would you do the, I mean, would you do the eyes? Because they're quite tight. Because there's three or two. two. Uh, is that coloured in or is that applique? That's applique. Um, so you'd stitch round the, the black yep. of the eye, round the white of the eye. And on the picture, you actually got, um, you did a little bit of a, like a little bit of satin stitch in white to make it sparkle. So your eyes, you can do, you can either just leave them as it is because they're quite secure. Let me show you actually on here. Let me see if it's on, is it on this it one? It should be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get my glasses. It feels like they've done a bit of blanket stitch. Oh, in the, the eye, actually yeah. in the eye there. Yeah. So there's a, there's a bit of satin stitch in the eye there to make the white. pupil or the white bit, or, or yeah. a highlight in the middle, mm -hmm. and then there's the blanket stitch, stitch going around the outside. But then also, right, Karen, yeah. I'll ask you about the quilting in a okay. minute. Um, so again, you've got nothing on the back of there, have you? Or just no. appliqueing the dog onto the one layer of the bijou fabric? Yes. Right, yeah. And the bond web gives it enough body that it doesn't really shift. The thing I like about this technique is you can be a little bit messy and it doesn't really yes, matter. Doesn't matter no. And if you go off, if you slip off the edge, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter as well because you can come back and do it on another yeah. line in a minute, can't you? Mm -hmm. Oh well, yeah, I'll leave it. Was it Bob oh. Ross? No accidents. Oh. Only no mistakes, only happy accidents. Then what? No mistakes, only happy accidents. Yes, Darren. <laughs> Paul says he was a happy accident. I don't think I should have said that out loud, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Um, what were you saying about the dogs? Oh, OK, the dogs are now very, very limited as well. If you, if you are watching the repeat, please try ringing the call centre. Don't be like, oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Do ring the call centre because there are, uh, the, the, the cat one, there are still four yet yeah, not checked out. There's more than four people got it. See, what some people do is they put it in their basket and then go, actually, I don't, like I do with Amazon, right? Sometimes <laughs> I put loads of things in my basket. What? Yeah, yeah, I do that on Amazon. And then it's just they haven't got me going, check out your basket, check out your basket. And then you get to the end, you go, oh, I don't need that shampoo, actually. Yeah. Or I don't oh, need no, that, no. or don't need this. And then, and I knock it out of the basket. So if you're watching this in the repeat later on, and you're thinking, oh, they're all sold out, just ring the call centre there all the time. Ring the call centre, and if people haven't checked out, because what happens sometimes is if people have put them in their baskets, they'll disappear from down there, even if they're not checked out. Do you know what I mean? It all, it all get, gets a little bit complicated. So just ring the call centre, and if there's one available, they'll be able to sell it to you, allocate it to you. It's just, I, I, don't, I don't understand all this kind of technology malarkey. So what will you do for New Year? Do you celebrate New Year in your family? No, not really. I hate it. Yeah, no. 
I am um, the only time I've really enjoyed New Year's when I, my film industry when mm -hmm. I was in the film industry and I'd be so I've, I've had New Year in Ethiopia oh. I've had it on a game reserve in South Africa nice. I've had it in Thailand and things like that when you're away from home it yeah. doesn't seem like that I hate that time when it comes to midnight and everyone starts kissing each other I always remember mm -hmm. being um, when I didn't drink and I was designated driver and I was a f my flatmate at the time I uh, was the manager of a pop group and he said oh would you drive us to this pub would you have to and I was like oh it's New Year's Eve it's fine anyway we're in a very very rough pub in Acton I'm going back <laughs> donkey's years now and it got to and we were supposed to be at another party by midnight but everything was running late anyway this we're in this really really rough pub and then it came to midnight the clock and all these like people I don't know in horrible jumpers starts trying to hug me and kiss me and I'm like I don't know you don't come near me don't kiss me don't kiss <laughs> anyway, um, I now uh, 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 know lots of people in acting because it, it's now up and, you know, and it's a really posh pub now. And I go, oh, there's that horrible pub, there's that horrible <laughs> pub. But it's really lovely now. Oh, and I've met another of my neighbours this afternoon, Botox. Ooh. So I'm thinking I might pop in and have some Botox when she's up and running. Mm. Well, you see, Liz didn't really want me to have Botox, but Liz is not here anymore, so she doesn't know. Right. Yes, I've done the ear. Yeah. So you just keep going around yeah. all of it, basically. Yep. Yeah. And whatever, like I said, you can either do straight stitch like I've done and make it look a bit doodly. Could you do, yeah. could you, if you were a hand stitcher, could oh, you hand, yeah. I don't mean needle, I don't mean needle turn, turn because that would be just too nightmarish with all those lots of little bits. But if you got to that stage and you wanted to hand, mm -hmm. um, yeah, hand stitch blanket it. stitch it, blanket, blanket stitch, stitch it, stitch. Um, you could do, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So then what do we do next then? Once we've put the two tulips on and we've put, put the, the bee. bumblebee on. You put your um, second border around the outside. Right. And then you would layer it up and quilt it how you'd want. Well, you don't have to quilt it. You can... Oh, no, I was going to say, because this one's got a couple of lines of quilting That on does here. have quilting. Oh, sorry. So you've got a couple of options. You can um, layer it up with some wadding. Yes. And quilt it. This is echo quilted around the outside okay. of the shapes. What some people use is H640. Do you know that? Do you know H640? It's, a, it's like a, a, it's oh. a iron on like kind of thick spongy oh. that people use in bag making yes. a lot. And when Lucy makes a cushion, she mm -hmm. puts it, once she's done all of this, mm -hmm. to do those lines of quilting, she just iron that onto the back oh, and then it just gives it that, it's not thick, it's not got a heavy no. loft to it, but it's got that body to it and everything. Yeah, I've used that for bags actually and it is, it's nice and light. Yes, it yes, is. yes it is, yeah. And you can iron it in so it's all, yeah. all in place. Yeah, it does have enough... Um, so this one's just echo quilted round, round the outsides mm -hmm. of the flowers. Oh, and the dog. Yeah. And then they've added their out, the outside border on and things like that. Let me see. I think it might be... Oh, the wadding is all the way to the edge. Oh, OK. Oh, so yeah. they've, done the so the they, whole they've made so yeah. they've made up all the frames, yeah. then put the wadding on. Because they haven't got any quilting here, have they? It's a little bit in the ditch. Oh, OK. And then you obviously it would... It would be around the edge when you do your binding. Your so bu yes, of course. They've actually put binding, which is a nice way of finishing oh, it Oh, so they've not bagged this one out. No. They've done this like a quilt quilt. Yes. So it's just they've made the sandwich and mm -hmm. then just gone all the way around yeah. the outside. And they've put a zip, a zip, yeah. but you could put an envelope back. Yeah. Yeah. I call it an elephant back sometimes. I don't know why. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Um, and then they've also done like little um, decorative stick, like mm -hmm. big daisy prints around the outside yeah. as well. Which is nice with it when you're machine quilting, that's a nice way of using all your decorative stitches on your machine. Yes, because sometimes you have to be careful, don't you? Because some, some decorative stitches have too many stitches in them, or mm -hmm. too many stitches close together, is it? That it's not, no. it's not as nice to quilt with no. that, is it? No, but if you play around on a scrap piece of fabric, so even when I'm straight stitching, I will increase my stitch length when I'm doing machine quilting. Oh, OK. Because it feeds it, well, it feeds it through the machine nicer. And you see, actually see the stitches. If you use your regular stitches, like you would sew together things. So, so what, two so or two and a half. If you were sewing things together, what size stitch would you use? About two or two and a half. Two right. and a half, usually. And then quilting, you'd go up to what, three? Three, three and a half. Oh, big, big. Yep. Yep. Okay. It all depends on your machine. So I, um, my little domestic machine that I take to classes, I make it quite big. Right. But on my Elna, it's about 2.8 to a 3, and it makes the same sort of size stitching. So it's just practicing. Yeah, of course. Do you not take your Elna to classes and is it too big? It's a bit too big. And I've heard a horror story. I had a friend who took her nice big machine quite a lot with her. Yes. And 
she needed to replace the motherboard on it. Oh, you told me this. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Because the, the vibrations of the car. Because I thought you were going to say she'd left it in the back of the car and someone broke into the car no. to nick it. So the vibrations from the car... Mm -hmm. Actually, and we're not just talking about the, don't worry if you've got an L and you go to classes once a week something like that this yeah. is she was driving around and yes, around and around she left the it time. in the car yes. all the time so. and the vibrations from the car the motherboard is that yeah. like that I think it's because it's a computerized it must be like the the main hey. guts or something it's so yeah right okay let's just talk about have I got the dog oh you've got them are they the oh, quilt yeah. or just the cushion there this is no. just the cushion right let me I'm just going to go through the um the quilt pattern just quickly because we've got a few minutes see if there's anything on the actual quilt quilt that we need to you've not made this quilt have i you? haven't but it's called kennel friends but it'll be the same same technique principles and mm -hmm. things like that won't it but you've also you've got not just a dog mm -hmm. you've got a whole landscape and all the things that go with it but what you get in the bundle is you get very 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 thorough instructions Right? But then you also get all the templates that you need. Mm -hmm. So ev there's the kennel. You see what I mean? So everything, and these are all life size, life size, actual, actual size, size, actual size, not life size. Um, oh, oh, right hand side. Uh, right hand side. Yeah. I was going to say, oh, it's a Royal Horticultural Society <laughs> kennel. This one. Right hand side. But it's got everything. Oh, that's the entrance to the kennel. I couldn't think what the heart oh, was. Yeah. Then you've got the foliage. So you get every single uh, template that you need for that quilt. Everything, everything, everything. And then I'm just going to go over and have a look at... So she's appliqued it. Okay. No, no, because you can tell me what they are. Oh, okay. Where. Um, so she's, she's appliqued everything. This is the Bijou fabric here and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then she's done the, um, the blanket, stitch. blanket stitch all around the edge of everything. Yeah, there's a little bit of straight stitching here to add a little bit of detail and on. The oh bowl. yeah, on the bowl and everything else like that. Yes. But then, then she's made her quilt. So she's put the board. So again, do any of these go over? Oh no, these don't. These are the ones where you can just make the center. Yes. Because none of it goes over into the into the frame, right. does it? So, so then she's put her frames on. She's made a quilt sandwich. Mm -hmm. Then. I like... Uh, oh, that is lovely. So it's sort of an echo of it from is. the bushes, isn't mm -hmm. it? But now, she's done that quilting before she's put those on, hasn't she? I think it's afterwards. I think you started. That's, a similar, that's the same stitch that I did around the OK, but then that quilt. line there, has she stopped that line and then carried on after the bead, you oh, think? Possibly. Do you know what I mean? As oh, in, because the line, yeah, yeah, yeah. the echo stick, that one there looks like it's on afterwards. But yeah. these ones here... Like she's, so she's quilted the, the sky first and then... And then she's put the little yeah. um, butterflies and the bumblebees on afterwards. Yeah. And then, uh, the, then uh, what's this, do you know what this got a name? This is um, meander, but this looks more like a ripple. So it's a meander stitch. Meander ripple. Yes, but it, it looks like water, so it's more of a ripple. Usually a meander is, is loopier and more open, but this is quite um, flat yes. and condensed. So it looks more it's like nice. water. And I love she's done like the wooden um, yeah. slats. I mean, there's lots yeah, and lots there's of different things. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in there. But again, again, again. Oh no, she's... I wonder if she's done it before she's put the dog... No, she wouldn't have done it before she put the dog on, would she? I wouldn't have thought so. Anyway. What did you anyway, say, Ben? Yep. What were you saying to me, Ben, sorry? Oh, we've only got 30 seconds. Oh. Um, when are you back? 5th, 5th of January. And have you got... The, do, don't do it the night before. No. <laughs> um, Happy New Year, because you'll be Happy gone. Happy New Year, too. Yeah, see you next year. Yes, you will. Take yeah. care of yourself. Lovely Bye, to see you. Right. Uh, so, oh, I've left the instructions over there for the dog. That's fine. Got the, got the image. You get uh, 16 metres of fabric. 16 metres of fabric. You get three sets of uh, for instructions. You get the actual instructions to make it, the instructions for the two cushions, and you get the templates for the quilt. You get an awful lot for your money there. And you get 16 metres of fabric. There's no thread. There's no thread involved in this one. It's all the fabric here that you need. 16 metres of it. Right, at the moment, if it's in your basket, you're okay. That's at 11.52. But who knows? Who knows? Oh, right. And at the moment, right... It's saying there are two cat ones not checked out. There's more than two of you got it in your basket. So if you've got it in your basket, do you know what could happen, you see, is you could be thinking, oh, I've got it in my basket. I've just got to make a cup of tea, see what John's got the next down, and then check out. In the meantime, someone could ring up and go, are there any of those left? They go, yeah, there's two not checked out. They could have it. Because put it in your basket doesn't mean it's yours, doesn't reserve it for you. 
Uh, now, this one has got, uh, we, we doesn't come with threads. We've got a lovely bundle of threads to go with it if you wanted to get a bundle of threads. £13.99. £13.99 pence for those eight. Uh, they're Gutemans, aren't they? Gutemann threads there. Uh, they're nice colours, but perfectly picked for to go with the dog quilt. OK, and I've got those brand new fabrics. Brand new fabrics. Now, in the Mega Bundle, you get half a metre of each of these. Oh, right. No, so hang on. Let me just do the Mega Bundle, first of all. So the Mega Bundle is. The Mega Bundle's fine at the moment. You get half a metre of each of those, three metres in total, for 46 99 Right, there they are. Now, we have got them by the half metre, which I've shown you, and they're all along there. But a lot of them, are some of them are very limited. Some of them are very, very limited. So please be careful if you are coming in to get those fabrics on their own. Um, I won't go through them now, but they've got the, put the mega bundle. The mega bundle is very, very popular. But if you go underneath, if you're looking on the web, go underneath me, the fabrics will be there and listed. As soon as they sell out, they'll disappear from underneath. So if you do want them, don't leave it too long, whatever you do. <laughs> 